That's what everything's sorted today. Yeah, yeah, tickets just need to be picked up. All right, I'm going to go and see the solicitor. I'm going to get the bank cleared out, and we're going to be off to Mexico next week. Are you sure you haven't done this before? I just want to be ready to go as soon as that sale goes through. Oh, uh, Sharon, listen, we're just off out. We'll be back later. Fine. You going to be all right on your own? Usually, yeah. Well, it's just that, you know, with Phil and Grant knocking around. Well, I don't think it's me they're interested in. Two coffees. Three. I'll make it lively. Why don't you take a seat and I'll bring it over? You said they'd leave us alone. Don't, don't rise to it. He's only winding you up. Yeah, he's doing a very good job of it. As long as you don't do anything to provoke him, you'll be fine. You know, I'd rather be in here with him than back there with Mum. She was right though, was she? Wasn't the best move going after Stacey, was it? Yeah, we lost Sharon and all now. Yeah, whose fault's that, eh? So what are we going to do about it? I don't know, do I? Are you trying to help? Your coffees? Hiding behind your apron, is he? Morning, Sarah. Morning, Sarah. How long are you going to keep this up? Well, if you want to move in here full time, let's go and choose some curtains, do the place up for you. Back off, Carl. What lies do you want me to tell Sharon today, eh? You came into work, so work. Dennis, throwing a strop ain't going to save your marriage. So, what's the plan then? Go over to Vic, give Chrissy uh, grief until she cracks. Yeah, well, she ain't gonna crack, is she? It's got me better than sitting on her backsides, eh? Is that well on? Yeah. Must have given me gas a slip. Yeah, boy. Put some breakfast on the end bill. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, environmental health, see that? They close yeah. you down, you know? That your next move, is it? You might see my next move coming. Give her a rest, will ya? Where is she? Where do you think you're going? She upstairs. She ain't here. I said she ain't here. They're out. Charging about bullying people ain't gonna sort this. Look, it's Shane about. It's a chance to look for her stuff, see what we can find. There's nothing to find. Well, we don't know that until we look, do we? Billy, keep an eye outside in case she comes back. No, I thought outside. I'd be back. If she comes back and catches you. She won't. Look, you're supposed to be sorting this, not making it worse. Oh, you're gonna scare me off like you scared Stacey? We're both on the same side. Really? I was beginning to wonder. You were planning on going through her things. You should have told me. I didn't know myself until we got here. This ain't not put the fright is on a bloke over a Nick car. I know. You're out of order. Well, you could always bar me. Really? Most people are growing up in the last ten years. You better not break nothing. What, old Mr Delicate? Some things about this place I'll never miss. Does that mean there were things you do? No, in the barmaid and um, getting free beer. What about when we go on a bender up with? Oi, BA. <laughs> Two large white wines, please. Okay, could you take odds? Uh, not just for a couple of drinks, no. Oh, let me get a bottle and one for yourself. Keep it open and I'll sign for it later. Do you want to settle Keith's tab while you're here, dear? I don't think so. You can't treat your mum and leave your dad out. <laughs> Hey, you very much, Dad. Sorry. It's all right. Tell you what, make it champagne rather than wine. She deserves the best. You've done a Chrissy have been here. Asked her nicely to confess. But all I want to do is help Sam. Is that what you're doing? We're all she's got. Now we may not be going about this the right way, but it's the only way we know. She's looking after you today? Yeah. Good to have her back, is it? Look, she needs to sign this, okay? Daughter with a credit card. That's what you need, isn't it? Not the way my lot spend it. I thought 
you had the good life out there. Oh, it's all right. Rio's a rough place. Plenty of sunshine lying in a hammock all day. I wish. Something keeps you there. Yeah, an overdraft, kids and a missus. And now you're back here strutting your stuff with Phil, just like you used to. I'm not like that anymore. Good as all be. You charge in, scare Stacy after death, and thanks to your idiot brother, my husband's sleeping in the bookies. <sighs> yeah, well, he'll get over it. But she's my kid's sister. I'll do whatever it takes. And who gets in the way? You're no different to me, Sharon. Family always came first. Shop of kids by now. No, not me. I always thought you'd make a good mum. This is my lot. Went through bags, covers, everything. Couldn't find a thing. I told you. So what now? I don't know. Well, we could always stay here, wait till she comes back, put the frighteners on. Now let's go back and check on mummy. Eh? All right. You coming? I'll catch you up, bro. All right. Three of us together, no one shouted or got hit. They put stuff in his tea while he was inside. Make it happy? Yeah, me the proud dad. I bet you thought you'd never see that, eh? And we can all change. Yeah, we can. Well, or maybe not all of us. Now Phil's gone, can I go as well? Come. Here. She's made her choice. She needs your support. Yeah, and I needed her trust. Oh, Dennis, this is not about you, it's about Sharon. She's living under the same roof with a woman who killed her dad. Now, you might not have cared for Den, but she loved him. Everything she ever knew has been torn away from her. And you're an ESL kid. She needs you. You're all she's got. Oh, and isn't it about time you grew up and started acting like a man? Like the husband you're supposed to be. Do you want me to come upstairs, give you a hand tidying up? No, you're all right. Here, don't lose this. You never know, next time I'm over, you might be showing me pictures of your kids. No, I, I don't think so. I've told you before, Sharon. You'll be back. Well, no, it's not that. Um, me being a mum, it's never going to be an option. I'll never say never. I mean, I never thought I was going to be a family man and look at me now, eh? Well, I couldn't have told you before. You probably would have gone off on one. Well, you still might. But I think you should know. You said yourself, people change. I haven't got a clue what you're on about. I had an abortion. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, um, things went wrong and I can't have kids. Right. I don't see what that's got to do with me. It's your baby. And if you hadn't come back, I doubt I would have told you. But now you're here, I want you to know. I don't want any more secrets. Well, I think we both had enough of those, don't you? Grant, I know I should have told you when it happened, but... But I can talk to you like I am now. You probably would have killed me. <laughs> Maybe things worked out for the best the way they did, eh? I wasn't ready to be a dad back then. <laughs> I couldn't look after myself, let alone anyone else. Well, yeah, we were both young. Yeah, you know, I love Courtney so much sometimes I can't bear it. When I think back to what I was like when she was born, the way I treated her mum. You can't punish yourself for everything that's happened in our lives, can we? The curse of growing older and wiser. Well, older anyway. <laughs> I didn't have a clue about being a dad back then, now I do. But you're a pretty good one, too. Push over more like. <laughs> I'm sorry about you not being able to have kids. You've had your fair share of grief over the years, haven't you, sweetheart?
他们买也给来。Ruby， come inside so we can talk, please. Just leave me alone. Ruby, sweetheart, I am so sorry. Please come home. Stay away from her. She don't need you. We're much better off without Tina. We don't need anybody else. Just you and me. Well, Tina left you because you're a liar. I hate you. I don't even know who you are. I'm your dad. No, you're not. Just come home with me, please. If you come near, I'm going to call the old Bill, you creep. You know, I came to find you to say I'm sorry, to say I wanted to come back. Look, none of these things matter. Nothing comes between you and me. Nothing. Yeah, but you had a chance to make things right, so we could all be a family again, but you couldn't do it, could you? Oh, Ruby, please. You've ruined everything, and you've got nothing. I hate you. You don't mean that. I know you don't. Yes, I do. I hate you. You're a fake and you're a liar, and just stay away from me. Ruby! I need you. Come here, please. Ruby! So, you lost your bird and your daughter. Nice work. Your family's gonna pay for this. Not your day, is it? You wanna hurt our family? You're gonna need some help. 